there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Wolf Quest Phoenix Rising. We are here with Charm, who's very interested in this gray wolf that is trying to pull her out of her shell. We haven't decided if he's pushy or not, so Charm's trying to figure that out. She's very interested in him, and he seems interested in her, but she's still unsure. He's very playful, and I think she likes that. So we're going to do another avert gaze. She's not going to show that she's very playful. He likes to sing, and we love his howl. I'm very interested to see if possibly Charm could warm up to him, but I want to make sure he's not pushing her, if that makes sense. She still needs time to heal, but she does have the goal in mind of getting another litter and knows that that means getting a mate. So she may have to put away her concerns about this and give this male a chance in order to have more pups, which is what she truly desires. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, he ran right up to us, you guys. So he is being a little pushy, and I don't know if it's just because he's he's so interested, but I want him to prove himself, because Charm, she wants a family. That's what she truly desires, like I said before. So he needs to be able to provide for that family, if that makes sense. It's cool that he's playful and all, and that he's trying to cheer her up and pull her out, but if he can't hunt and he can't protect her, then he's not worth our time. All right, buddy. You are very pretty. <laughs> uh, let's try another avert gaze. She's still so shy. Okay, now he's like, let's go. Okay. By the way, this is my good luck pup. He's always been in here, but I thought I would hold him for today's episode. <laughs> okay, so let's test him out. I want to see how he is. I know he's probably hungry because usually when you first get a dispersal, they're pretty hungry. And it's to encourage you to go hunt with them. She's fully healed too. Um, ooh, there's elk right there. So let's take him to an elk herd and see how he does hunting wise. He does seem really fast, so that's cool. Okay, so he went right after that bunny. He sped ahead and he was ready for that rabbit. That's pretty cool. I think he might have some speed bonuses. I'm not 100% sure though, so don't quote me on that. All right, so we found the males that have clearly been chasing the females. Oh my gosh, and he barely dodged a hit from those bull elk. Oh my goodness. He's pretty healthy. Sometimes we find dispersals and it looks like they've taken some damage. And here's some more males. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. These are females. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, look. He's going right after it. He's very fast. I do think he has speed bonuses. Or he's just really hungry. I'm not sure. But he is going after it. That's a really good sign. This calf looks really low. We're not really hungry, but Charm is doing this. I think she would have told him. I've been through a lot. I need to see what you can do. Wow. Oh. Okay. Look. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's doing really good. All right, mom. Mom. So how is he going to handle this part? He bit he bit mom. Oh my gosh. I'm the one that's not hunting very well right now. He took that down by himself. Okay. Okay, that's that's pretty good. So he's a good hunter, but I still need to see how he would do approached with a predator or other wolves. Oh. Oh. 
He's like, see, I, I did that for you. And he likes to sing too. Oh, my heart. I feel like that would speak to Charm a lot. The fact that he, he also enjoys singing and he's so pretty. Did we just take this territory? We did. Interesting. All right, we'll do another avert gaze. I'm kind of wondering what his story's gonna be. Okay, he wasn't quite paying attention. He is full though. Now he's paying attention. Let's see. Oh! So should I sleep in this territory? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. I take a huge risk doing it because the crevice, the crevice lake, the Wapiti pack could take it back. Ah! We're gonna try this. Mmm. No, he, he still liked that. He's like, did you make, sh did make sure you got enough food? I don't know, guys. I kind of like him so far. But I need to see how he does with predators. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the risk. We're going to sleep. The Wapiti Pack will probably take this hexagon back and they'll show up and try and kick us out. I'm doing this to see how he does. If he runs away, if he cowers, if he doesn't fight, if he doesn't help her, that's a big thing. Because her whole goal is to kill the alpha of the Crevice Lake pack. Okay. They didn't show. Interesting. Uh, you okay, buddy? <laughs> that is a very, very strange bug. <laughs> All right. Well, should we take him on another hunt, I wonder? Or could we sleep here again? Let's do some flirting. Let's do a little bit of flirting with him. We'll do some sleeping, and then I still want to see how he does with predators. I want to make sure he's the right one. We can't always just pick the first one that comes to mind. He seems to have gotten kind of more serious. Like he's lost a little bit of his playfulness. No, he's still playful. He's still playful. I think he wants her to be playful and I haven't been because she's still nervous. And I wanna play her exactly as how she would act in this situation. Very shy, very reserved, unsure. She's, she's being teased out of her shyness, but it's still there. What dangerous competitors are nearby? Okay, well he chased off that coyote, but coyotes are easy to chase off. Okay, we're just gonna sleep now. Wow, look, he was still trying to chase them off. Aw, he fell asleep looking at her. You guys, this whole this whole episode is gonna be me going, aw, that's so sweet, that's so cool. <laughs> I want the Wapiti Pack to take this back so we can fight them. There we go. Did they just run away? No, they didn't. Okay. Will he help? Is he helping right now? He is helping. Okay, that's this is good. He's chasing them? Wow. Did he chase that one away already? No, but he's got it higher than I do. That's pretty cool. All right. Wow, guys. Okay, I don't know. He's doing pretty good. Where'd he go? Oh, now he's going to come help us. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We need our stamina to come back. No! No! Okay, we got that one off of him. Alright, the table's kind of turned a little bit. He's not doing as well. Mm. He was doing really good in the beginning, though. This one's running. This one's running. This is good. Did he chase the other one off? He did. Okay. I would say that was more good than bad. So it does seem like the tables turned on him a little bit and he got a little caught up with both of them. 
but he still fought with us. He didn't run. He didn't cower. He does seem pretty dominant in his behavior. He loves to sing. I love that he loves to sing. Okay. Coyotes are gone. This is so good, you guys. I don't know. Like, he does seem like a little less pushy. He's still playful, but he's definitely proving to be a really good mate so far. Again, I think maybe we could sleep. I want another predator to come by and see how he reacts to another predator. He's very fast. And now he's showing his confidence. <laughs> okay. So he is very confident. Interesting. Playful but confident. I kind of like it. It's everything that I think I wanted Aspen to be and he just wasn't. Because he was so dedicated to his... Uh... Oh, here we go. <gasps> Did you guys see that? Wow, he started chasing that cougar and that cougar ran. Now, cougars won't usually fight unless they're fighting over something. That is so cool. Okay. Guys, this looks better and better. The more, the more we're with him, the better it gets. I think she's starting to realize that he could protect her family and maybe help her come out of her shell. And he loves to sing. We may have to just take him. I think we will. Maybe we'll do another hunt with him just to be sure. Let's hunt these mule deer. Mule deer are harder. Let's see if his speed helps us hunt mule deer. And let's see if he's as dedicated to hunting even if we're not hungry. Wow, okay, so yeah, he just ran in there. Even though we're both very full, he's still hunting for us. Ow, that hurt. He's still going after her. Oh my gosh. He's not afraid of this mom, which I don't... The only concern I have with him at this point is that he's going to get himself killed because he's too... He's too confident. That could be an issue. I'm not sure. No, he ba he backed off. He backed off. There we go. Nice. So he hunts really well. He chases off predators. He's he's okay with fighting wolves. I would definitely say he's not bad. He's over 50% good is what I would say to that. And he likes to sing. Oh, we may have to keep him. We may have to keep him. Maybe, maybe Charm is being blessed with us right now. Okay, well then let's do a little more flirting. And then we can start heading maybe towards where we would go to get to Slough Creek. Oh. Oh, that's three. Ah, ah, ah. All right. We're not gonna fight three. I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. That's just stupid. Okay. I'm heading the wrong direction. Oh, poor Charm is slow. Okay, run, Grey Boy, run! Okay, we're leaving. Yeah, even Charm is like, no, we're clearly outnumbered. Hopefully, he makes it out, though. Okay, he did. So he's not super dumb, but he did take quite a bit of damage. So now seeing that, I'm have, I have a feeling that he's probably got a lower health stat. Oh boy. Well, I think he, he definitely has a lower health stat and a higher speed. I would be shocked if it was anything else. Is he distracting them for us? Okay, no, he's running. He's running. Good, 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 good. Okay, so at least he's not stupid. 
That makes me happy. <laughs> He's not stupid. He's not going to stay and fight. He's not going to get himself killed. But seeing his health just chunk that low on challenging really gives it away that his health is not as good. So let's sleep with him real quick. I didn't mean that that way. <laughs> let's let him rest and recover some health. He does sleep kind of far away. It's weird. It's like he's close but distant. Like he wants to help her and pull her out of her shell, but he's also keeping himself away at some times. But then he'll run right back up to her. It's weird. It's a weird dynamic, and I'm really interested to know his story and what you guys might have as far as ideas for his backstory. So I'm going to spend some more time flirting with him. We'll probably do another hunt together. And then we might go ahead and just start heading to Slough Creek. So that was really quick and easy. I even got to go into the photo mode you might have saw um, and look, have a closer look at him. His eyes are piercing gold. I hope you guys don't mind. I think I'm going to go ahead and make the decision to take him as a mate and I sincerely think he's a good choice but I'm gonna have to go into comments and look at names I had one that I really really liked uh, for him but I want to give everybody a chance maybe I'll even do like a, a draw so we'll see what happens when we get back all right so this was tough because I had thought for charm I was going <laughs> I'm sorry, I adore him so much. Um, I thought for Charm I was going to make her extend the trial period with Calum because I really wanted her to have a chance to think about it, to really test him out. But in the period of time that they were together, she really saw everything she needed to see. He's an incredible hunter. He's fast. He already knows where to go. <laughs> He's brave. He's not, he does not back down by any means. Um, and so I kind of almost had to put that aside. And I hope that you aren't disappointed in the way that I decided to play Charm. But I keep thinking in her head, she wants puffs more than anything. And it's not that she doesn't love Caleb. I think that she actually has come to adore him quite, quite well. Um, but pups keep ringing in her ears. She's a mom. She's always been a mom. And when she was with Aspen, she cared so much about those pups. When they were lost, she found them. She'd feed them even when she was hungry. She sang to them. She laid with them. She nurtured them. She's a mom through and through. And that's the biggest trait and characteristic of charm. And so for her... That's going to be the thing she desires more than anything else is pups. And so in her mind, she's like, I'm looking at this ma mate, this male. He's sweet. He's trying to be kind and loving and pull me out of my darkness. And he's also going to provide for my family. I can't wait. I don't have time. I want to have these babies. I have a perfectly good man in front of me. Mate. Male. <laughs> all the names and so she's not gonna wait she wants those babies so she's gonna have them with Caleb and oh my gosh there were so many names there were so many names and I kept seeing over and over again he needs to be named after something involving the sky or the stars or the constellations and I went through a bunch some of them were really beautiful, but I didn't know how to pronounce and I didn't want to look dumb. So I had to, <laughs> I had to uh, kind of throw those out a little bit. But there were several good names. There was one um, that one of my community members on Discord suggested, which was Eros, uh, which is essentially the Greek version of Cupid. He is a bunny lover. I think that is precious. <laughs> I thought about that one. But I read more into it and I was like, hmm, let me see what else there is. I did like that name a lot, though. I probably will use it in the future. And then there were some names that were really heavy on, uh, like there was Sirius, which was really cool. There was Silas, but Silas is a word that means wood. 
and I was nervous about giving him a name that had to do with wood or trees because of Aspen having been named after a tree. So I avoided that even though I also love the name Silas. That's such a beautiful name. Um, but I came across Calum and I love the spelling. Anything with an A before E makes me smile. <laughs> Hence Mikhail. Um, but Calum was such a nice name and it means sky or heaven. And I thought that was perfect for him because he does, he kind of looks like the sky right now, which is all cloudy and covered up. Um, but he does look like a starry night sky with the white among his grays on his back. So I thought this name was the most fitting. So I chose Calum. So thank you, Addie, for the suggestion. I'm sorry, anyone, that I didn't choose your name, but we're going to have pups coming up. And Wolf Quest will be a constant thing on this channel. So the likelihood you're going to have a name picked is pretty high. All right, so we're on to Slough Creek. I'll meet you guys there. So here we are in Slough Creek. And we've already taken this little hex here. But Charm is looking over these meadows that her and Aspen used to hunt upon where their den was right over there on that hill and she does feel a degree of sadness she remembers those times she'll always remember Aspen the collar is a constant reminder but she's ready to have pups she's very pregnant she's going to be looking for the perfect place to be with Calum her new mate who she does care about <laughs> he has definitely proven himself to be a good mate so far. Hopefully that remains so for the remainder of this series with Charm. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and start taking some territory and uh, see if we can't get a den. Well, we ran up on this elk herd and I couldn't resist the opportunity for a hunt, especially since these two are very hungry. So... We're gonna give them a chance to eat something and hopefully take some territory and discover some dens along the way. Ooh, my face is bright. <laughs> Caleb, where did you go? Uh, Caleb? Did he get caught in the water? That's kind of surprising. Uh-oh, is this calf gonna cheat us out? Oh no, it's a cow elk. It looks so small though. It's gonna try and get back to its herd. I left the wrong way. That's okay. You're okay, Charm. No biggie. Huh? Come on, Caleb. He's like, what are we doing? <laughs> I can't blame him. I've been all over the place over here. Now, where did that cow elk go? There she is. Oh, nice, Caleb. That was good. I really approve of his hunting skills. He's a very good hunter, and he dodged that pretty adeptly, too. All right, come on. Ow. Wow, he is relentless with hunting. How much damage does he do on his own? He does quite a bit. We might actually go after this and check out his stats, because I'm interested to see what his stats look like. And there we go. We are in another Pax territory, but I think we should be okay for the moment. Nice, they took that down with ease. 
Calum is a good hunter, guys. I think we made the right choice. I really hope you agree and that you're not disappointed with my life choices. Okay, so I was gonna take territory and go ahead and find a den, but I think instead I'm gonna go ahead and save the game with, we're gonna call it Calum. <laughs> and I want to go and look at his stats. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, he is literally the opposite of what I said, which is insane. So he has more health. He has a minus in speed, so he's not even that fast. He's got two extra stamina, which is really good. That's why he can bite as long as he does, but he has a minus two in strength. So he doesn't do a lot of damage, but he can hold on longer. So, wow, that was completely different than what I originally thought he was gonna be. But boy, is he beautiful. And he definitely puts out the work, even though he can't bite as hard as maybe Charm can. So she does have a minus in health and a plus in stamina. So these are, we're gonna have stamina heavy babies, which is interesting considering Mikhail had horrible stamina and it shows in his pups. So wow, these are, they're gonna make some very interesting pups. But that is all the time I actually have for this episode, you guys. I wanted to show you Calum. I think he's gonna be the perfect mate for Charm. And next time we will have puppies. So if you wanna go ahead and leave some name suggestions, you can. Um, we might wait uh, to name them after we see their coats, but if I have enough suggestions, I might just name them uh, based off the names you give me and what I think fits their coat colors. So it'll be teamwork, you guys. All right, well, thanks for sticking with me. If you like this episode, make sure you get the like button, a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Jingle the bell to get notifications of when I post Wolf Quest. You are not gonna wanna miss this series and the other series we have going on. So jingle that bell and join our Discord so you can be a part of our community and chat with me and the community every single day. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next weekend for more Phoenix Rising. Bye.